Ah, uh, nature and creation is so beautiful. Isn't it amazing? I really love that that video and and just you know how much we have to appreciate and enjoy nature and God's incredible, incredible creation. So, as I said earlier, uh, uh, yesterday was Earth Day. It started actually in the United States in 1970. Yeah, 1970s. And so, uh, actually, at that time, in 1970, a lot of problems, like pollution problems. Uh, There was a huge oil spill in Santa Barbara, the first really big one, 1969. Um, Polluted waterways. You know, some rivers, they would actually could catch fire because there was so much oil and pollution in there. And so... And a lot of people were wrestling with the issue of smog, you know, that even first heard that term, smog, right? And not just fog, but dirty because of pollution in the air. And actually, it was uh, President Richard Nixon who created the um, Environmental Protection Agency and and did uh, the, the Clear Air Act and Clear Water Act and signed a lot of things into legislation so that we would be legislated also to take more responsibility. But we know that the real key, God calls us to be stewards over the things of the creation, be loving caretakers over the creation. So Earth Day is a natural time, and also when we celebrate the day of all true things, to our relationship with the things of nature and things of creation. Uh, Mother Moon is really taking this up as a calling too. Um, I don't know how many of you have been able to, to visit this uh, website, uh, the, uh, earth, the earthandi.org. Org. Um, um, lots of really interesting articles uh, focused in on how do we be responsible for the sacred bond and relationship that we have with nature and caring for it and being good stewards over nature. I encourage you to, to visit the website. This, this actually is developed under the International Conference for the Unity of the Sciences. And Mother Moon started up again so these conferences, especially to deal with some of the practical problems like pollution and starvation and, and difficulties around the world. In fact, the recent Sunhawk Peace Prizes, uh, several of them have been awarded specifically for people who are dealing with environmental issues and addressing the the problems of the world. So God gave us, of course, always a good reminder, you know, three great purposes. This is what God wants for us. You know, is to grow up and to become true loving people. That's the first thing. To establish true loving families and to have true loving dominion over all things of the creation. Be loving rulers and stewards over all things of creation. So, when we talk about Earth Day, we're talking about having a true dominion of true love over the things of the creation, caring for nature and the creation. So, let me read a couple of the Bible verses. This is the verse in Genesis where we talk about God's purpose for us. Speaking to Adam and Eve, of Adam and Eve, the Bible says, God blessed them and said to them, Be fruitful and increase in number. Fill the earth and subdue it. Rule over the fish in the sea and the birds in the sky and over every living creature that moves on the earth. And actually, he gave this same commandment again later on to Noah after the flood. Be responsible. You know, be fruitful, multiply and have dominion over all things of the creation. Well, we also read from St. Paul, though, that there's, we haven't been doing such a great job with it. This is from Romans, the 8th chapter. The e- for the creation eagerly waits for the revelation of the sons of God. For the creation was subject, subjected to futility, not willingly, but because of God who subjected it, in hope that the creation itself will also be set free from the bondage of decay into the glorious freedom of God's children. For we know that the whole creation groans and suffers together until now. Creation is groaning because it doesn't have true owners. Owners that love and care for things of creation. 
That's what we are called to do. This is God's hope for us, that we will be the people who have that. Here is from a message from uh, Father Moon. The sermon was called True Ownership. As we know from the book of Romans, which we just read, all things are in lamentation, sighing that they are in the hands of the wrong ownership. So for ownership to come into the hands of God or the country of God's dominion, it has to become dominated by true love. True love is what all things want. Amen? Amen. That's what all, everything wants. That's what I want. Uh, that's what everything in the creation wants. So again, this is from the Chun Sung Gyeong on the uh, Father's words on the true creation. All things expect to be loved, valued, and treated well as representatives of the one whose hands create us. That's who we're called to be, is the representatives of God. And conveying God's love to all the things of the creation. The amazing things, the beautiful things in creation. So, this is also the mandate that Father and Mother Moon give us as citizens of the heavenly kingdom. So let me read this. This is, this is from his message. Chonoguk is the ideal heavenly kingdom of eternal peace. Again, Chonoguk means the kingdom of God, kingdom of heaven. As citizens of Chonoguk, please have the wisdom to protect and love nature. Return to nature and enjoy a life of liberation and complete freedom. To love nature is to love God and love humanity. Nature is easy to love. That's a good starting point, right? You know, sometimes I may wrestle with loving the people around me, you know, my neighbors, my people. But, well, you give me a, a puppy dog, how easy is it to love a puppy, right? Or how easy is it to love when you see just the beauty of creation, your beautiful flowers, the beautiful sunrise or sunset, you know, the, the amazing trees and the wind and the, the, the weather. So many beautiful things for us to love and appreciate. And the more we invest in that, the more our hearts actually open up because we can feel so happy and joyful. And when we feel happy and love and joyful, it's much easier to give that love and care for others. So, just a couple of points just to think about, you know, being true owners, having a loving dominion over nature especially in this time when we're, there's Earth Day. and the, There's so many negative things that we can focus on. There's lots of problems in this world, right? In, in terms of pollution and the way the world's being treated and things like that. And Father and Mother Moon speak about it often. But starting with us, the first thing is just is our love and care for nature and creation. Having a heart of love. So then there's the practical side. Right? I love these three R's that they teach the, the young people. At least I'm hoping they're still teaching it to the young people in school. Right? The three R's. Reduce, reuse, and recycle. Right? <laughs> reduce how much waste we make. You know? Use less stuff. You know? And don't waste it. And then when possible, reuse it. Yeah. Use it more than once. I, you know, I'm, I'm amazed at some of the things I've seen Yunji pull out. Oh, we could repurpose this. We can use this for this. And whoa! <laughs> all right, let's do it. <laughs> Actually, if you look at my cupboard, it's filled with all these containers that had something else in them before. We just keep using that same container and refilling them. So reusing things. You know, just, it's very practical, right? You know, and what that shows is that we, we value things. So we don't just have a, a throwaway or dis- disposable um, you know, thinking or attitude. And then, of course, there's recycling. When something, it is time for something to be tossed or thrown away, then let's let it be used again and recycle it. And, you know, be responsible. I know in Sacramento they have these whole big bins, right, where you can put all the recycle things in, into, into that bin. And just being responsible about, about that. 
So this is a very practical level, you know. When we remember Earth Day, and we think about this amazing planet, this beautiful planet that God has given us, there's very practical things we can do to care for it and to make our own difference in loving and caring for God's beautiful creation. Because it comes down to that kind of respect and care for all the things in our life, but especially when we talk about Earth Day, about this planet. You no, know, respecting things. You know, I don't want to throw trash out. I don't want to litter, you know, just throw, throw trash away. I'm, I'm shocked sometimes. Even just walking. I remember going hiking. A lot of times when we go hiking up in the hills or something, I'll come back with more stuff that I left with. Because, you know, you see a can or trash on the ground. I don't want to leave that, you know. That doesn't make nature happy. In fact, sometimes it causes problems for, for some of the animals, you know, for that garbage. So, respecting and caring for nature. When we go out and we use nature, let's leave it better than, than, than we came. You know, don't make a mess, but really appreciate and care for it. You know, clean up and care for the beautiful things of, of nature and that, that surround us. And above all, I think that heart of being grateful... God's given us an amazing world. It's just amazing. Every time I, I, I'm so grateful. You know, one of the, my favorite things on YouTube are these nature videos. These these videos where you you know time lapse where you see the clouds going over the mountains and you see these waterfalls from all over the planet, right? You know, places it'd be really difficult for me to get there, but now because of technology, we can actually see and. And, and feel just how incredibly beautiful this planet is. And why is this planet so beautiful? Why is creation, why does it stimulate our heart? Because God designed it that way. Because God loves us. God wants us to experience joy. And God wants to experience that joy through us. When God is, sees us appreciating, valuing, and enjoying things of nature, God feels joy. God can appreciate and and experience it through us. So a grateful heart helps us appreciate things in life much more. And taking action so that we can really enjoy and appreciate the beauty of this wonderful creation. And remembering the, 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 the key for everything. Everything that God created. Everything in the universe. True love is what everything wants. So things of creation, they want to know their love. The food that we're eating, it wants to know that it's appreciated. Right? So it can give us the most nourishment. The best nourishment. You know, our love and care, gratitude and heart makes a difference in the world around us. So I want to just finish off with some some more just beautiful reflections from Father and Mother Moon about the wonder of nature and of creation. So again, this is from the Chun Sung Yong. When we sit in nature and gaze upon our surroundings, we feel something mystical. If your heart flows with love for nature, loving people will come naturally. Gazing at flowers, butterflies, and all created things in nature gives us hope. When human life resonates with nature, human character can blossom in perfection. The flowers of a true culture of heart, a true artistic world, will bloom. It will be the Garden of Eden, the original ideal where human beings and all creation live in complete harmony and express their original nature. And then finally, this prayer from Father Moon. Please allow us to realize that the things of creation want to be taken care of and want to be governed by a true person. Please allow us to become your sons and daughters 
who love the world and all the things of creation. We earnestly hope and pray that you allow us to become your sons and daughters who are able to be more deeply aware than anyone else of the value of the things of creation and who are able to care for them. Amen? Amen. 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 All right, please join me in prayer. Father, Mother, God, our loving Heavenly Parent, we are so grateful for your love and especially your heart and love that we see expressed through all the things of creation, the world around us and the beauty that we experience every day. Heavenly Parent, please help our hearts open up so we can genuinely experience and appreciate all the love that you poured out to us through nature. And Heavenly Parent, especially this season where we're remembering Earth Day, that, that we can be true stewards of true love, true caretakers of this work. We're so grateful for the developments, the movement of technology that, that we can get past just polluting the world, but we can find real solutions, Heavenly Parent, to caring for this planet. Heavenly Parent, thank you so much. We want to offer ourselves and our gratitude again to you always as your sons and daughters and as a blessed central families. Amen and adieu.